Hello all. It's uh, last week of the open for those of you who who care. <laughs> um, whether you signed up to compete or not, you obviously have gotten a taste of what the open workouts are like because we pretty much did them every Friday. So this will be the last week. They released 17.5 on Thursday and then that'll be Friday's workout. So as you can see, Monday uh, we continue on with our strength uh, protocol. It's an undulated program. So you either got a choice of bench press or shoulder press, whichever one you want. You should stick with it throughout the six-week program. Uh, four by three at 85 percent of your one rep working max. Remember one rep working max is 10 percent off your one rep true max. So if you're one rep true max is 200 pounds. You're going to take 10% off of that. So that would be uh, minus 20 would be 180. You're going to grab 85% of 180 would be what you're working off of four sets of three. Uh, so get a go, you know, get some warm up going on in between that. Um, or correction, before that, get a couple warm up sets in. You always start off an empty bar, build up, and then you're work sets are going to be four by three reps going into the condition component three rounds for time uh if you're able to get a rope climb yeah, that's great uh if you're not able to do rope climbs then the coach should modify your movements with some pull-ups maybe five pull-ups so if you're able to get a rope climb awesome safely uh wear your long socks for monday so it's going to be three rounds. You're going to do a rope climb, get off. You're going to do five push jerks, 155 or 95. Um, same weight, you're going to do 10 deadlifts, and then you're going to do 25 ab mat sit-ups. So it's three rounds. One rope climb, five push jerks, 10 deadlifts, 25 ab mats. Three rounds for time. If you're more advanced... And you're able to do legless rope climbs. You're going to do three rounds, one legless rope climb, five push jerks with two and a quarter, women 155, same weight, 10 deadlifts. Then you're going to do 25 glue ham setups. This is going to be a rough one. Um, unless you're, you know, a little bit more advanced, you've been working on those movements. If you haven't, that's a lot of glue ham setups, 75. That's a lot. You're going to be sore. So be careful with that. You can always modify it. If you're able to do legless uh, rope climbs, if you're not able to hit the push jerks that heavy, you want to go to 205 or 185, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with kind of mixing things up. Uh, just, you know, don't sit there and stare at a bar trying to hit two and a quarter. You should be able to pick that thing up, clean it, because we really want to do these from the ground. Clean the bar and then go into five push jerks. Um, you can rebend on the jerk and deadlifts is going to be relatively simple. And then, uh, you know, like I said, if you're doing a blue ham setups, just be careful with those. Make sure everybody's doing their stretching and all their post training recovery. Make sure you're eating right. We never really go over nutrition too much, but I will be doing a nutrition, uh, seminar probably in the next few weeks. I'm just finishing up a pretty good cert. And uh, might be a good idea for us to all come in one night and uh, go over uh, go over nutrition because I think it's some of you are pretty decent, but I think a lot of you could be doing so much better if you clean up your your nutrition plan. Tuesday, the lift thrusters. You're gonna do three sets of three reps. So basically, you can build up. Um, but you're looking to do three thrusters. Your first rep off the off the floor, you can use a rack if you want, but if you wanted to go off the floor, your first one could be a clean, right into a squat clean, and then two more thrusters. Try to find a good solid weight on these. Uh, I have a feeling thrusters and double unders are gonna be coming up on Friday. Um, we'll see. Um, I'm certain thrusters are gonna come up. I'd be very surprised if they didn't because that's like a staple movement of CrossFit. Uh, thrusters and pull-ups so then going into the conditioning component on Tuesday uh, this is kind of one of my favorites or it used to be three rounds you got a three minute clock ticking run that 400 meters as fast as you can whatever time you got left you max out wall balls as many as you can get with whatever times left over so let's just say 
you pace the run for two minutes, you get back, you got a minute to do as many raw balls as you can. Now keep in mind, you know, by the time you walk over and get the wall ball going, you're going to lose some, some time. So um, be smart with this. If it's taking you three minutes to run 400 meters, what do you think we should do? Maybe shorten the run? Maybe do a 300 meter run? Because you really need to have at least 30, 40, 50, 60 seconds on the wall walls. So be kind of smart about it. If you're unable to run, you can do a row. Um, you can even just say, heck with it, I'm going to max out on the row for two minutes. And I know by the time I unstrap, get on the wall balls, I'm going to have 30 seconds left to max out on wall balls. Get a three minute rest in between these. So if you got a big group, coaches should probably split the group up into two. So let's just say we get 30 people to show up. Instead of everybody trying to squeeze out the back door like a bunch of bees flying out of a hive, uh, maybe do 15 at a time. So 15 goes the first three minutes. While this first group is doing their three minute rest, second group goes. Genius. Um, Wednesday, our favorite. We did this one before. I thought it was really good, actually. So you're going to start off. It's a 45-minute AMRAP. It's a ladder. Two-calorie assault bike, two double unders, two-calorie rower. 444 four, six, 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 eight, eight, eight. Guys, I don't mind if you write on the floor with chalk. Not my chalk blocks. I can't emphasize that enough. As a matter of fact, I'm pissed when I see that. The chalk blocks are used for Olympic weightlifting, Olympic weightlifting, and the powerlifters. So please be smart about that. Don't draw on the floor. Those things are expensive. If you want to buy them yourself and draw all over the place, go for it. I'm cool with that. But as far as using ours, um, everybody complains when we run out of chalk and I don't buy it. Because I see people doing silly stuff like that. So use the regular chalk and don't worry about wiping it. Don't, don't use the um, whatever, those uh, wet naps to wipe up your chalk uh, lines. <laughs> I was wondering why I'm ordering like $600 worth of those every two months. So just wet down a towel if you want. Grab the mop. In the front room, it's fine. Or don't even worry about it. I'm not really too concerned about it. We got a we got a cleaner that comes in twice, three times a week. So there's uh, Wednesdays, Thursday deadlift, four by three at 85 percent. Same scenario, one rep work, uh, one rep, one rep working max. Keep in mind these these four sets should be the same weight across the board at 85 percent. We're not building up. And then a short. Intense seven minute AMRAP, 10 power cleans, 135.95, 155.105 for your RX Plus, and then 10 box jump overs, 24.20 or 30.24. Probably have the last Thursday night little gathering at the gym. Uh, if anybody wants to come hang out, um, see what the, the workout is when it gets released, and then uh, if anybody wants to do it, go for it. And then the final Friday is 17.5 to be announced. So looking forward to it. Hope everybody had a great weekend as usual. And looking forward to a good training week. Bye, everybody.